Hello Isopod fans, it's Wally from Supreme Isopods. It feels like forever since I've brought you a video, but today we're doing an unboxing and I'm really excited to see what's inside this box. Join me. This box just came in and it feels a little cold coming in from FedEx, but it still feels okay. So let's get inside and see what's in the box. Should I do the famous movie line? What's in the box? Anybody? Anybody know that movie? Put it down in the comments. Here we go. Let's check out the shipping here. This is from Kayla Bell and it's three isopods. It's, wait a minute. I'll tell you in just a minute. And Kayla Bell is, what a great looking card. This is fantastic. Queen of Kings. I'll show this card in just a second. This is such a neat, neat packed box. Incredible. All kinds of paper towel. And we have one isopod, two isopods, and three isopods. And again, just a really nicely packed box. I tell you what, this box is comfy warm. Room temperature, outstanding. And I'm looking around, I don't see a heat pack in here. Ah, here it is, right in the corner. And I, this heat pack is just absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect shipping. Well done, Kayla. Oh, I can see some of these right now. This is going to be incredible. Okay, she has 20 Wally and 15 Wally and 20 Wally. I'm looking for names on these. Oh, I, I love getting isopods in. I don't love getting isopods in without uh, identification. For anybody that's shipping isopods, anybody that's receiving isopods, I should have done this. I should have asked Kayla to go ahead and put the names on each one. Just so I know, I, and I know these different animals, they're going to be very different, but I just love, love, love getting names on the containers, even if I know it's something so specific like Hoffman Sagai or Clowns or something like that. But let's go ahead and check them out. What do you think of that business card? Isn't that cool? How about giving this video and that business card a big thumbs up? Let's move that out of the way. It looks like this is a 15 count of Cuberus Wally. It's actually Cuberus papaya. This is a version of the Cuberus murina. And you can see some of them out right here. We're going to put them away in just a little bit and get a closer view of these. Fantastic looking little isopods. It looks like there's just a bunch of them in here. Let's take a look at our next isopod. And that is going to be, let's pull it over to the side here. Another 20 count of Wally's. This is actually Kiberis. And I'll stop using that joke. This is Kiberis. Panda King. And I'm going to turn this over and see if we can find a couple of them in here. There's one right there. We'll get a better view once we start putting them away here. But again, a 20 count of these Cuberus Panda Kings. You can just see how interesting the color on these animals are. These are Cuberus pack chongs. I feel like singing the song. Everybody pack chong tonight. Anybody know the group? Anybody know the song? Go ahead and put that in the comments. Jeez, these are beautiful animals. Just beautiful. And again, this is a 20 count. I didn't order a 20 count. Kayla put in a bunch extra in here. I'm just trying to see if I can find a couple of them in here. And I see some shrimp, and I'm sure they're buried way down below. Beautiful looking little isopods. Kayla, thank you very, very much for the extra counts in here too. Let's go ahead and put them away. Okay, for these Cuberus. Marina papayas. We have a six quart. We have it filled with a nice fluffy substrate. They are burrowers. So we like to put in a fluffy substrate for these. 
and we have the sphagnum moss, bunches and bunches and bunches of leaves, and a nice substrate there, and a piece of decaying wood for cover to keep that substrate a little bit moister in that area. Let's go ahead and add these to the container. I'm just going to go ahead and dump them in. She's added a nice, really nice substrate here with these animals. These are so cool. A light colored murina. Just beautiful, beautiful animals. See if I can move the substrate around a little bit so that we can see some of these. They're bouncing around pretty good here. These guys love to curl up into little balls. And they'll stay like that until they feel secure. There goes one. And here comes another waking up. And the third one's joining them. We're all set for the Cuberus Panda Kings. I'm going to add the, them to this container. This is a 15 quart. I decided to go a little bit bigger with these. The Murina types, I like to have a small container. It just seems like when, when you work with a small container like that with the Murina, it, they seem to breed a little bit quicker. Again, this is a 15 quart, plenty of hiding places, but they do burrow, but we have the decaying wood, the sphagnum moss, plenty of leaves, and this beautiful, beautiful piece of bark here. Just love this piece of bark. And you can see the substrate is real fluffy. Let's get a look at that substrate here. So this should just be perfect for them to burrow into. And I have the calcium. I have a little bit of lime added to this mix of uh, the substrate, but most of it is jungle mix and a, a nice compost dirt. Let's go ahead and add the animals. And hopefully we can get a really good look at these panda kings. I can see a few coming out from the dirt here. I'm going to move the dirt around just a little bit. Hopefully you can see them jumping out of this dirt here. All right, we're all set with those Cuberus pack chongs, and we're ready to put them away, but I need everybody to sing the song. Is everybody singing? I think I hear one person not singing. Okay, there we go. Everybody's singing the song. Let's go ahead and put them away. Again, these are Cuberus pack chongs. We're going to move this piece of driftwood. This is another 15 quart sphagnum moss leaves, kind of a finer uh, substrate kind of a light substrate here, just like Kayla sent them in. And we probably won't get a good shot of these. 